acting the part, Hadley rushed off the bus and raced to the senior center, glancing back several times to make sure no one saw her. She loved spending her afternoons with her great uncle and the other seniors, but she didn't think her friends would understand. Good afternoon, Hadley, Mr. Matthews said, greeting her at the door. If you keep coming here to entertain our residents, we're going to have to put you on the payroll. He laughed at his joke and held the door open for her. It's just as much fun for me as it is for the others, Hadley said. She walked to the community room and opened her backpack. Her purple purple velvet dress was shoved inside, getting wrinkled. But how else was she supposed to get her costumes here to perform for the seniors? What show are you putting on for us today, Hadley? Her great uncle Albert asked. She smiled at him and held up the dress. Rapunzel, isn't this dress pretty? Very. Hadley tensed up at the sound of her best friend Tyler's voice. Even though they'd grown up together and were next door neighbors, Hadley had managed to keep her performances at the senior center a secret. What are you doing here? she asked him. I was just going to ask you the same thing. I followed you from the bus. I didn't see you on the bus. I thought you had baseball after school, Hadley gulped. Not sure she was ready to tell Tyler what she'd been doing. No one knew she wanted to be an actress when she grew up. It was canceled because the coach is sick. Oh, well, I was just here visiting Uncle Albert. Uncle Albert cocked his head. I thought you were performing Rapunzel for us. Rapunzel, are you putting on shows for the residents? Tyler asked. Hadley put the dress back in her bag. I... Tyler was into sports. He'd never understand Hadley's love of acting. Do you need help? What? Hadley's eyes widened. Tyler shrugged. I've never acted before, but it could be fun. I thought you'd think it was silly. No way. You might be in movies someday. If you keep practicing, that's really cool. Tyler looked around. Got a costume for me? Hadley smiled. I think we can find you one. Acting the part question one. What fairy tale did Hadley plan to perform at the senior center? Describe the costume Hadley brought for her performance. Question three. Which is not a reason why Hadley performs at the senior center? A. She thinks acting is fun. B. The people at the senior center like to watch her perform. C. She wants to practice acting so she can be an actress when she grows up. D. She is being paid to entertain the people at the senior center. Question 4. Why hadn't Hadley told Tyler that she performs at the senior center? A. She knew he would want to help. B. She didn't think he knew anything about acting. C. She was embarrassed. D. She didn't know that Tyler wanted to be an actor. Question 5. Think about the following sentence from the story and answer the question. Good afternoon, Hadley, Mr. Matthews said. If you keep coming here to entertain the residents, we're going to have to put you on payroll. In the quote above, Mr. Matthews, A, was worried that Hadley came too often, B, was trying to get Hadley to accept money for her performances, C, was asking Hadley to come more often, or D, was making a joke. Match each vocabulary word on the left with the definition on the right. Our words are raced, entertained, residents, payroll, velvet, Rapunzel, costume, actress. Our definitions are A, performance for someone, amuse someone. B, clothes worn by someone who is trying to look like someone else. C, girl or woman who performs in plays, movies, or television. D, people who live in a particular place. E, hurried. F, fairy tale about a girl with long hair. G, list of people who receive paychecks. H, very soft material used to make clothes.